Okay, this is Alex from PHP Academy creating this tutorial set for the new Boston. Now, we're up to the point in our forms where we're looking from the previous example about how do we create a form and about the action and the method like you can see here. We're now going to talk about how we use PHP to pick up these variables. Now, at the moment, we're processing three variables through the get method. And this is day, date, and year. And we can see this in our browser by here. Now at the moment we're processing these, however, we need our PHP page to pick these variables up and we want to do something with them. We, we need them to be processed and displayed back to the user in this example. So in PHP now, what we want to do is we want to create, first of all, a few checks. The first check we need to do is, does it exist? Or, in real terms, has it been submitted? Oh, submitted. So this is the first thing we need to check for. The second thing we need to check for is, is it empty? So, or in actual terms, does uh, the uh, value equal null? Or does it equal nothing? So for now, I'm going to put null because it's the same thing. So the third thing we need to do is display back to user. And in this whole process, the third process, we need to grab it from the URL. So we need to grab this variable here, the contents of this variable, and the contents of this variable. And it's easier than you might think. So let's put these in a comment just here, just so we can uh, keep an eye on them. Uh, okay, so the first thing we need to do is do this, uh, the point one, does it exist? And to do this, we set up an if statement, we create a block, and we say, if is set and this is a function so is set inside of it we need to do dollar underscore um, get this is how we declare the get um, or this is how we grab from the uh, get variable uh, associative array day now what this is doing is it's checking if we've in fact submitted the form and this here is there and which it is at the moment I mean even if we submit it without any data this still means it's set it's set it doesn't equal anything but it's still set so um, in fact maybe we'll, before we proceed with uh, this itself we can have a look at just echoing them out normally so if I was to echo dollar underscore get um, day let's type in a day here Monday click submit and you can see it's echoed Monday so it's it's taking this value here using this structure and it's just echoing it straight onto the page above the form now this is obviously really unsafe we could be we could be dealing with processing um, anything really so we need to check if it's if it's set first or if it's empty and then we need to uh, re-declare some variables um, and use the HTML entities function to sort of get to sort of process um, any uh, HTML code that might be input into them uh, as text to be displayed but we'll come to that later so if is set day as long as that equals true we can continue with this block but we also need to say and is set using exactly the same uh, format for this is set date and is set dollar underscore get year so as long as we've clicked the submit button and all these um, form fields have been submitted as a variable we're okay okay um, otherwise we're not so otherwise we're not going to display anything so let's go back to the index.php as it is so um, day date and year we click submit okay that's that means it's been submitted the form has been submitted now inside of this we need to make a few more checks so we need to say if not empty we're using another function here which is the empty function dollar in fact now what we can do before we do that is we can redeclare these variables so day equals dollar underscore get day and then date equals dollar underscore get date year equals dollar underscore get year now we can say if is not empty day with the dollar sign and 
not empty date and not empty year um, we can echo OK otherwise we want to say fill in all fields so let's test this back to our index page if I click submit fill in all, f oh, all field so fields um, fill in all fields now if we do type in say Monday and 31st but we forget to enter the year we're still checking for all of them so it still says fill in all fields so Monday 3 1 and 2011 click submit and it's okay so now what we can do is we can display these out to the user in this format so echo it is day space date space year and that's it so as long as let's go back to our index .php page as long as we enter Monday 3 1 2011 or enter anything in here and we click submit it will just be displayed like this